Hey, how's it going and welcome. I'm Rama from Rama Time and welcome along to Satisfactory episode 12. If you remember in the last episode, we finished off the big modular frames factory, which is over there and looking mighty impressive, I must say. And we also started on my, uh, what do you call this thing? Oh, main storage depot, which is going to be kind of like a, a bit of a mega base with lots going on. This is the footprint. We have a big old train station over there, which is going to be delivering stuff from around the world via this slightly excessive conveyor belt system, which, as you can see, is already starting to populate with things. Not every belt is full, but that's because I need room to expand as I go. And this is just what we've got done so far. Now, the only thing I have not done is connected up these so that we can see it all running. So this is something I think I might do now. Just quickly, so we can start seeing some lovely movement. Wait, what am I doing? I didn't run the intro. Hang on, go! That's better. Right, had to get that out of the way. I almost forgot. Anyway, so I am now connecting up all of the belts into all of these. And I've got to try and remember how I've actually done this. I look like... Oh no, have I, I've missed a... Oh man, I've missed one. Oh no, out of all of that, I've missed one. That's really annoying. But I will worry about that later. Because that seems like a later problem to me rather than a now problem. Oh, and I, I don't like that as well. Okay, so I've got a few bits to fix as well. But let's just get it all connected up for the time being. And uh, then we'll worry about the details a bit later on. Okay, so that is all of this side all being run into which is good which is good with the exception of that one that I've managed to miss um, but I'll come up with something so that now means that a load of my bins are now filling up and I have a load of useful stuff over here now some of the more eagle-eyed viewers oh well no that's filled up already whoa all of those frames lovely so yes yeah, some of the more eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed I had the conveyor lifts on this side and yeah that was a slight mistake the conveyor lifts were supposed to be this side. <laughs> so it's fine. I moved them around. And now the bins all work really well. So you say, oh, I want screws. Well, they're in this bin. Oh, I want wire. That's in this bin. Oh, frames. You, you get the message, right? And we basically have all the important stuff over here. Although I'm a bit worried that I'm not seeing in any of this lot. I'm not seeing any certain things. There's a few things missing. The steel beams. Where are they? Where are my steel beams? Ah, there we go, all fixed. It was just that one of my conveyor lifts was not completely connected properly, but that's fine, that's all fixed. So anyway, we've got stuff in this area now, which means we can expand from here. Uh, and we have a fully working train network going now, which means that we can start getting more stuff brought to here. We can collect everything. I'm really upset about this one. I cannot believe that I've done that. That's such a shame because everything else lined up perfectly. Every belt that I've got connected over there, fits exactly to this side with the exception of that one so I'm gonna to have to do something clever but I've managed to keep it relatively neat uh, definitely a few bits I just want to tweak so that things aren't intersecting like this one here I don't like that's really annoying um, okay so that's fixed that any others mm, that one's not great is it so we could do this one well, that is actually already coming down too. There we go. A quick look along here. Looks good, looks good. Right, we're fine. And we've got a load of movement and stuff, which I always love. I always love when there's lots of movement. Right, so anyway, now that we have that done, we can now go and look at some other stuff. So I want to start getting quick wire back here, which is going to be some effort. And I also want to start getting a... Hmm... You see over there... Hang on, let's let the autosave finish. Because that's now taking a while. But anyway, you see over there, I have put two miners on two quartz nodes. So what I'm thinking is over there, I will have it convert two quartz nodes into the quartz trays. Yeah, quartz crystals. And look, I have an alternate recipe. If I add water, then we get 
a lot more. So because we're right next to water there, we can just send some pipes up there using the uh, the old Mark II headlift things, which I'm pretty sure I have unlocked already, right? Tell me I have. I haven't. I haven't unlocked Mark II pumps. So I need to unlock those as well. I just love this. This is so cool. So much stuff. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. Anyway, right. So, on to the next thing. Uh, it's going to be uh, getting quick wire back here and uh, probably the quartz. Yeah, one of those two things. I'll make a decision about now. So, I have a caterium. Caterium, I don't know. I always say caterium, but whatever. A caterium node here, which is a pure one. So, I can actually get quite a lot out of here. So, what I'm going to do is build a quick wire factory just here. Now, just over there is another two caterium ores, but they're both normals. So I'm thinking I can actually get an awful lot out of this one pure, uh, which would certainly be good enough for now just to start getting into my bins, which is nice because I only have to do a run down this little cliff and I can join it into my system here without too much effort. So that's really cool. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to kind of build it on the side of the building here. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy. Um, it's just going to be a big bunch of constructors. I'll do the maths and see what the best I can get out of it with my current belts and so on is. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do next. After that will most likely then be the quartz stuff. But let's get this stuff done first because reasons. Yes. If you look at that stuff down there, it looks like it's going backwards, but it's not. It's actually working its way in. How funny is that? Look, see? <laughs> right, job's done. And it's only a small little factory, but I still made it kind of look pretty nifty. And I resolved one of my other problems in the meantime as well. So, let's have a quick look at this. I haven't powered it on yet, so I don't actually know if it works. But this is the Caterium to Quickwire factory. So very, very simple. We've just got a bunch of smelters down here that pull off a pure caterium node. And then that then gets delivered upstairs all via these individual uh, lifts on each side, which I just thought would be a bit more interesting. And then that's all dealt with in here by these constructors to make quick wire, which comes out of these two here. If you actually walk all the way over to this side through this door, there is a viewing deck <laughs> so you can come out and have a look at the train station and the moth uh, if you're not afraid of heights that is but yeah so that's basically the very simple little new factory that I just did it looks quite cool from the outside as well uh, I don't want to go too far because I won't get back but yeah it's kind of sticking out of the side of the mountain which I think is pretty nifty I don't know, we'll spot that every now and then and it'll look cool. Oh, I do hope I'm going to get back. Anyway, let's power it up and see if it works. Boom. I've got some green lights in there. And I'm expecting to see some stuff come floating down here. At any minute, there it is, there it is. Whee! Look at it all go. And that will then go off into the system. got a bunch of red lights here though why why have you got no power you should have power did I definitely connect everything I thought I did <laughs> okay there we go I did something wrong I'm not sure exactly what it was but I wasn't uh, <laughs> I wasn't powering everything quite right so anyway once this all fills up then we'll have a load of stuff going on there which is wonderful oh wow look at that and then when we come upstairs here we should start to see our first wires Let's go. Ow. keep doing that or perhaps we won't I forgot I haven't actually connected any of this <laughs> what a plum okay uh, let's see we'll quickly connect these I want to follow the criterion right there we go right so all of these are making 60 per minute so this is a fair amount being made I think it's a total of 780 but anyway I split it down into a single line uh, which I'll upgrade at some point when I unlock the aluminium stuff. But there they all go. So they're all now heading down. So let's take, let's follow them so that you can see exactly what I've done. It is a little bit Heath Robinson. 
Um, but it was the only way I could figure out to get them to join. So basically they now come around here, they work their way around the side there, and then they join into the main bus, as we'll call it, and come down on this spare run that I left really fortuitously. And super interestingly, they'll come around the side here, run all the way down the side, and then they'll duck in exactly at that point where I missed that bin. It absolutely isn't perfect, but it will do. And there we go. We have a ton of wire now coming in. A full 480 belt will permanently fill this bin. Uh, and once I can upgrade the belt, that will pull in about 780 or so. So anyway, that is now that one done. And there we go. There we go. So if we look at our bins, we have copper sheets, we have concrete, we have pi uh, what are these called? Rods? That's it. We have screws, we have wire, we have frames, uh, iron plates, cables, quick wire, the industrial beams, the steel beams, and the steel pipes. So that puts us in a really nice position to move forward and start building some really cool stuff. And one of the things that I'm definitely planning on doing is building the crystal oscillator factory inside this factory. So what I'm next going to do is go ahead over there and convert those two over there into a factory that is something like that. Because I think it doesn't need to be anything super special either. It's literally just a bunch of constructors and, and, and that's actually it, I think. There wasn't room. Try that again. Uh, quartz. It is! So literally, 37.5, let's do this, 37.5, no, 960 divided by 37.5, okay, it's 25 and a half constructors, hmm, <laughs> and then I need to get it all over here, hmm, 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 how am I going to do this, I might use the train station that I'm going to build over there to also go over there, collect that as well, and bring it all in maybe down here or maybe over here. My original plan was just to have a simple train coming across, but I think maybe I'll do something that laps all the way around. Hmm. And there might be even be something over here that I might involve in that as well. Hmm, 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 hmm. Lots to think about, lots to do. Oh, it's such a fun day in Satisfactory. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, that's that bit done. Let's move on to the next. Oh, and before I forget, we had a comment on one of the videos. <laughs> so Cowboy Colby, thank you very much for your input to the video. So it does at least mean that someone's watching He's right? Anyway, he suggested about these two guys here, naming them Frick and Frack. Now, in case you're not aware, this is one of my early coal power plants that also collects coal and takes it to the first base via this truck. And I happened to capture two of these little guys here, which I kept here, and I couldn't think of a good couple of names for them. And yeah, he suggested Frick and Frack, and do you know what? I'm going to go with that, although they hate me now, so I need to somehow get these guys back on board so that look I've just dropped some berries that seems to be no good for them come on frick frack hello what are you doing <laughs> well we know which one's frick that's you yay and you've given me some sulfur oh how lovely thank you there we go fracky fracky had a yummy yummy treaty treat Hey, <laughs> and he's given me a bacon mushroom thing. Well, cheers, guys, and say thank you to Cowboy Colby for giving you a name. We'll come back and check on you soon. What do you guys reckon then? Should we go and build the quartz factory? <coughs> well, there we go again. We've gone and done it again, haven't we? Obviously, no, that's not the new one. That's the frames factory. But that's the new one. Ho, 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 ho. It's got a bit foggy. Because for some reason, oh, there's some, oh, there's some radio, radioactive material there. Mm, I'm gonna have to find a way of getting rid of that at some point. Um, yeah, it's got a bit foggy, 
And as was highlighted in the comments, there is actually a way of turning off the fog. Now, generally, I don't like to do this because I like to keep the game as intended. I know I have it daytime all the time, but that's just because otherwise you can't ever see what you're doing. If you're making videos, being nighttime in this game is really bad, but it does look pretty. So I will have to put nighttime on. But anyway, anyway. So anyway, um, yeah, I can switch the fog off. It's actually you press something. Uh, Control Shift L and then Tile and then R dot fog off. Fog doesn't have two G's. And there we go. It turns the fog off. See, which is wonderful and lovely, but I don't know. I think it does lose something because you start seeing stuff off in the background that you, the way it ends and stuff. So, fog has a nice purpose, but just sometimes it comes on quite thick, depending on where you're standing. But anyway, while it's off, and oh, there he goes skating past again. Let's have a look at the new factory. So. I have done my best once again to design it so that you can get around everywhere. Not everywhere is fully finished and I haven't turned it on yet but this factory does two things. Down here on the ground floor these are constructors that are making silica basically with the leftover quartz from upstairs. Now if we go this way there is an elevator to take us upstairs. Nice, nice, right? And up here we have eight refineries so pulling off the two quartz nodes downstairs are these eight refineries and they are using a alternate recipe which combines water with the raw quartz which gives us the seven pure crystal quartz and yeah once this is all once this is all powered on these will be turning over around about uh 75 per minute i believe because they're overclocked a little bit and what this will mean is somewhere in the region of about 590, I think, uh, quarts per second. Which all comes up through these conveyor belts here. Now, I didn't just merge them all here. I had them doing something a little bit more interesting. So, they go down the outside so that you can see them. And let's just head back down. Uh, one thing I haven't done is a down yet, so you still have to use uh, your jetpack to get down unless you hurt yourself. But that comes over to this. I just thought, again, I'd build this because it's a bit more interesting. So all of the quartz then gets merged here, but just down into two belts. So it's kind of like load balancing. And then it comes out here. So we have two belts of quartz and one belt of silica, all ready to be collected and taken over to the main base, where they will be converted, or at least the quartz will, into crystal oscillators. And I've done a bit of maths. Oh, we're gonna, we've got some fun times coming up ahead of us. I'm telling you, we've got some really fun times coming up. So, for the water, I am got a very, very, very basic setup here. Um, we have six water extractors, which is well overkill. It's a lot more than I need, but this will basically give me three, three. This will basically give me two full pipes running up here. Now, I haven't run the pumps up yet because this is quite new, so I wanted to do this right now. And if I go into logistics and down here to the Mark 1 pump, now I can use valves now to limit so that it gets exactly what it needs in case I want to use it elsewhere, but I'm not going to. But what you can do, you see, is pop in a pump and we can now rotate it so that it fits nicely so we can do something like that. Boom. And we're going to put a pump here as well, but we want it to be going upwards. So we'll place that there. And that still does have a bit of a clip, but we can send it up like that. There we go. But what's so lovely is we can now see that that goes to there. So I need to make sure that I have another pump at least there. Now I could use the Mark II pumps, but I haven't got um, all my aluminium stuff running yet. So I don't think I can, I can actually unlock it yet. So we'll come back to that. Uh, for now, Mark 1 pumps will do, but we just need to get them in the right places. But now that we've got those guides, it's all so much easier. We just do this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Right, so, so I wish I'd... Oh, it actually snaps, so that's what the most optimum... Po I didn't even notice that. It snaps to the most optimum point. I have to admit, that's actually super cool. Right. Um, I want to get up there, though... This is a bit awkward. Right, let's go up to the next platform. So to get me up the top, I have built this little elevator here, which sends us up two floors, but I don't want this one to bounce me, so we'll do that. 
build some quick scaffolding. Okay, so that's going to be going to there. Make sure it's going up. Going to be out of rotors in a minute, so I might have to make a quick trip back to the main factory to pick up some rotors. Okay, and then we'll carry it on. So we're going to go over here. Alrighty then, so we now have pumps, but I do need to power these things. So I've got to make sure I'm coming off the right pump, uh, right power here, because this one is live because it's powering the jump pads, whereas this stuff isn't live because I didn't want the power, the factory to start up yet. So <laughs> I've got to be a little bit careful. Um, so what we will do is we'll send one to there. This whole new power thing has sped everything up so much. The fact that I can now just click and drag and make a new power pole is just amazing. I can't afford because I've run out of rods. Dag nabbit. Alright, so I need to pop back and get some rods. Now look, I'll show you this. This is really cool. So we bounce up to the top. And here's the benefit of being up so high is that we can actually just scoot off the edge there and jump and fly back over. to get back to our base. So now that we get back to our base, we can see that we have all my stuff I want to collect. It's good. So we'll have some of this. Other quick note while I'm over here, by the way, is that I'm now bringing back the fuel, the plastic and the rubber from the other factory. Uh, I just added in a train station over there and a train station over the main base. And what's really nice about that is that this is now pretty much full. This entire belt system now gets filled up whenever the train comes along. Some of the items aren't quite backed up yet, but others are. Like, as you can see, we've got fuel forever. Um, but yes, the train station, when the train comes in, basically all belts get full now. Uh, so that's really cool. But let's just quickly, super, super quickly, let's nip over to the other base and I'll just show you what I did there. So over at this base, I have added this train station. Now this is kind of work in progress, so it's a little bit floaty at the moment. It's not a fully proper realized building, but what this means is that the rubber and the fuel is being collected uh, and loaded into a train just here. And then this train takes an awesome journey. It just goes around that rock and comes back on itself here and joins up. So it's doing a loop, collects, goes around that way, heads back, goes all the way over here. And I am denied about doing it across uh, little platforms, and I don't know, I, I might still change it yet, but I quite like the way I've got it going. It goes up and it goes over this uh, kind of bar that goes over there, so I thought it looked quite interesting in the distance as the train comes past. Ah, speak of the devil, look. See, so it kind of goes over like that. I thought that looked quite fun. And that comes over here, and there is just another small little train station over here. Which, when the train pulls up, it basically unloads and just fills in these last three here, which then goes into the main train, which then brings it all in. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's quite quite excessive. But yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to show you that just in case you wondered how I was now getting plastic and rubber really, really easily and quickly whilst I was over at the main base. This is how. But anyway, enough of that. I need to get these things wired up and then we are ready to start this factory up and see if I actually got it right. Woohoo! Okay, and they are now plumbed in. Awesome, awesome. Right, let's get upstairs. We're going to do it. We're going to find out if I actually got this right and see if we get some really, really cool looking stuff being made. I've just got to remember where my circuit breaker is. If I remember rightly, I didn't actually make one yet. Uh, so I need to find a way to bring that in. So how are we going to do it? That one to there. Bit of a faff, but that'll do. <laughs> right. So that is my circuit breaker there, or it could be that one, whatever. Right. So ready. Whoa. 
No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Calm down. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, I'm actually really excited. Here we go again. Go, go, go! I missed. <laughs> Let's try that again. I hear rumbling. Something tells me I did need this. Oh, Rory, you're so rubbish. I don't know because none of it's coming alive. I can hear noises. That these are going. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, oh, we've got purples. Purple's going up there. Hmm, might need to do some load balancing over here. We'll have to look at that. Okay. Oh, there we go. No, we have got purples over here, but yeah, we've got no power here for some reason. Why not? Let's just nip upstairs and see what's going on upstairs. Right, so we've got quartz going in here. We've not got water, so the quartz won't be working just yet. But Okay. That suggests that my pipes are running. But then again, I don't think they are. Oh yeah, look, I haven't actually connected any of the pumps. Right, okay, so before we connect the pumps up... <laughs> <laughs> so useless, I really am. I just want to find out why I'm all red down here. Why is this not working? What have I done wrong? Okay. Right, I was being really stupid. I haven't actually set these to do anything. <laughs> they were supposed to be making silica and I haven't set them to do it. <laughs> look, look, look at them all going down. <laughs> Right, it's just a second. Let me just get these up. <laughs> right. Absolute idiot. The grand opening of this factory. And I messed up the power. I forgot to set some of the buildings that actually do anything. And I didn't connect any of the power to the water stuff. So yeah, this was a terrible grand opening. Oh dear. Oh, oh. Right, anyway. We should be now running. <laughs> so the idea of this layout <laughs> is I wanted to walk over here and sort of see the silica being made but it makes a bit slower than I was expecting to be honest I thought it would be quicker than this it's really slow but it makes 37 okay so but yeah there it goes boom 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 that's really cool and it just comes over here obviously that'll back up really quickly anyway um, I'm not even sure yet what I use silica for I think that's something to do with aluminium production we'll find out but there we go so now you'll get this kind of cool thing where all of these will be showing bags of silica sitting in there there we go right so now that's the downstairs done, we need to go and sort out the pumps. Okay, that is my pumps all running, and we can see that we have water going up. Yo, up. Okay, so that's now pumping. Pump, pump, pump. Good. Let's head up there, because we want to see what's going on. Now that we've got water up there, we've got quartz, we've got everything we need. <clears throat> we should start getting some nice little trays of crystals. I spy with my little eye something beginning with quartz. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, we have our trays of quartz crystals. Awesome source. That then comes down there, so let's have a quick look downstairs, see how that looks. Yep, they all start whizzing around there. Brilliant. Again, this will back up quite quickly. I probably should have it going into storage bins actually before it gets collected. That way it will be making more, but ah, uh, it's alright, we're not in a hurry. Excellent! So 75 times 8 is 600. So... Hee, <laughs> yeah. We're going to be getting 600 a minute. 600 a minute is not bad, in all fairness, for my little setup here. And what that means is so fun. Right, so, crystal oscillators. Now these need 36 of these per minute, so if we do a super super quick bit of maths, we have 600 divided by 36, that means we need 16, well we can make 16, uh, or maybe even we could do 17, but I'm going to keep it the even numbers just for symmetry, but yeah, 16 uh, manufacturers are going to be making our crystal oscillators, which also means based on the fact that we get two per 
one, that means we'll be making 32 per minute. Now, 32 per minute is a pretty penny. It's not as big as some people might make, but I would be more than happy with 32 of these per minute. But I need to be making somewhere in the region, uh, super quick math in my head, somewhere in the region of about 450 a minute of those, I think. That uses the wire, which is two for one. That means I need to be making about 800 a minute, or maybe even 900, eight, 900 a minute for the wire without wanting to overcomplicate things. I think I can do all of that off two pure iron nodes and an awful lot of constructors. We're talking somewhere in a region of about 100, uh, 100 constructors. But fortunately, just round the corner from this factory is this shelf here. And guess what's here, look. One, two, three, four pure iron node so I can use this area to build a little expansion factory off the back which will then deliver plates and cables into this area here where they can be collected taken over to the main factory where I will build the crystal oscillators and this is all the fun stuff that we will do next time because I think we've done enough for today <laughs> and that's gonna be a heck of a project and I really hope you join me as we continue this journey because once we start building in our main base I'm gonna to have to start filling in the walls this thing is just gonna get huge and I'm thinking about the outside design and whether I might do something super interesting and I'm also going to start playing with color soon because at the moment everything's the default orange so I'm gonna change the color soon but I really want suggestions so if there is anyone watching I know there isn't but if there is anyone watching please do let me know suggestions. What should I go for the color? Should I go for the nice kind of clean whites and blacks that you often see? Or should we go for something a little bit crazy? I don't know. You tell me. I don't think I will have it some kind of vibrant pink, by the way. Let's just clear that up right now. Anyway, enough waffling. I do hope you did enjoy today's video. This has been a lot of fun building this one. And I think, honestly, things are just going to get crazier and crazier and i tell you what the next episode is just going to be absolutely crazy with the sheer number of constructors i've got to build so this is just going to get huge around this area and it's going to be mega mega fun when we start getting the crystal oscillators made over there ah i'm, I'm really really loving this playthrough so much so yes please do remember hit that like button and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and remember clicking that little bell will notify you whenever new videos go up so the only thing left for me to say is bye for now. <laughs>